In this video, we're going to learn how to work with derivatives and tangent lines in Desmos and walk you through step by step how to create something like this on your own. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. You'll see how in a couple minutes we can recreate what we had on the screen earlier. Working with derivatives in Desmos is pretty easy. So we start with a function and here I'll keep it simple. I'll just pick a nice quadratic that fits well on the screen. That quadratic is to the two, not to the minus four, but I wanted to do a Y intercept at minus four. This is a difference of squares. That's why we have X intercepts at two and negative two. Because when we factor this, we could have X plus two and X minus two. So the derivative is pretty simple. I'll keep things organized by creating a folder. So I just write derivative and you'll see, I'll share this with you in the description below. So that way you can just recreate the steps on your own. So if I create F prime of X, you see that, oh, excuse me, we have this green line. So it, it works right away, just like that. But before we, we need to make sure it makes sense a bit, right? So we have X squared minus four, we use the power rule to derive this. So we would bring down the two and do minus one. So that's two X and then the derivative of negative four is zero. So we have Y equals two X. And if we type it, that would be Y equals two X. And you see that that's the same thing as the green line. So this works. The downside of doing this is that it's hard to evaluate it for many values. So for example, if we evaluate it at four, then two X, two times four is eight. So we can get values like this. This is pretty useful. So this would be the, the slope of the tangent line when X is four is eight. And you can see on the graph, it kind of makes sense, right? Like at four, you're already very steep and the slope of eight is almost vertical. Okay. So that, that makes sense. And then, so if we keep it like this, another way we can do this, I just press enter for another line. We can look at the functions down here. And in the miscellaneous, you have D DX. So if I click this, I want the derivative. That's the Leibniz notation. So the derivative with respect to X of F of X. And I prefer this notation because we can set it equal to a function that way. So for example, you could name it, for example, D X, something like this, right? And then, that would be the function derivative. So then you can set a bunch of values in here. You could do something like that, but I'll just leave it like such, just so you get a sense of what those things are doing. We don't want to see it in there. So what we'll do is we'll create a tangent line folder. Okay. So I'll, I just click the little folder on derivative and that way it, they disappear. So I create a folder that says tangent line and the equation of any tangent line is just Y minus Y naught equals M and M is the slope of the tangent line X minus X naught. So Desmos is pretty smart. All those things are not defined. So I am going to create sliders for all of them. X naught is the first thing. It's the independent variable. So it's just a thing that slides. That's the one we want here. Our quadratic is defined between negative three and three. So I'll just restrict it. So it's nicer. And why not is the uh, vertical value of our function of our red function when X, whatever X is. So that would be F of X naught. So you see that when X is one, we have Y is negative three. So one negative three, that's our Y naught. And then M is the slope of the tangent line. Well, if you remember from your calculus courses, the slope of the tangent line is the, der the derivative evaluated at whatever X is. So then that would just be F prime of X naught. Okay. So here you see that our tangent line has slope two. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to slide this at the top. Cause I, I just like that. Cause then we can close our folders and you see that when we play around with X, this 
function, this derivative, this tangent line, moves along with x, because then everything is defined in terms of x, which is just a slider. And the beauty of programming it like this in Desmos is that you can change the function. So for example, if I want it to be x squared, it still works. If I want it to be sine x, it still works. You can do any function like this. So now that you have a file like this, which is linked in the description below, you can answer a bunch of questions and it helps you understand how things work as well. Now we can just make things pretty a bit. So I'll, I'll stop it at, let's define it at one and then make things pretty. So then I would make this a dashed line because it's not really a, a, it's not the function, it's the tangent line. Look what happens when you, when we get rid of the grid, it's just so much neater already. And then if you want, you can do reverse contrast. Some people like that more, it depends on your, on your style really. But you see that I, I kind of like this and I would close the folders and just for you all, I would just put it back at one and you can save this. So I would click on here, save, I'll call it derivative and tangent line. I'll just replace what I had earlier, click save, and then you can share it with this button, copy. You can export image, print this if you want, but I'll just copy it for you. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with your friends and colleagues. That's the best way to support the channel so far. You can also like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Do The Work.